real interesting time on my third mission, STS-27, uh, which was the first time I flew the space shuttle Atlantis. Four, three, two, one, ignition and liftoff. Atlantis begins another space voyage as it clears the tower. We didn't know it, but during the launch, something happened. Something broke loose and it was the nose cap ablative on the right hand solid rocket booster disintegrated during launch and it showered the right wing of the space shuttle Atlantis with debris. Well this is similar to what happened to Columbia where Columbia got a hole knocked in its left wing and as we saw that had tragic results during the re-entry. In our case we didn't know it at the time but the day after we got to space, Mission Control came up and said, guys, we want you to take the shuttle's robot arm and hang it over the side of the orbiter and look at your right wing and tell us what you see. And I'll never forget, we looked at the right wing and when we first brought up the end effector camera, I said to myself, we are gonna die because I was looking at more than 700 shredded tiles on the right wing of Atlantis. We were a classified mission. We were a Department of Defense flight. So we weren't able to send clear video down to the ground. In fact, the Department of Defense actually wanted us to be able to send no video down to the ground at all. And they relented and let us send encrypted video down to the ground. That translates into very poor resolution on the video. And they failed to heed the fact that I said, I'm seeing a lot of tile damage. And they also didn't consider the fact that I'm not looking at encrypted video. I'm looking at clear video on board because it's not encrypted when I'm looking at it. So I had the better view of it. So the engineers went and looked at it for about two days and they said, it's no problem at all, just re-enter like normal. And I, I couldn't hardly believe it. But I said, okay, you guys are the experts. So anyway, we start our re-entry and I knew that I would have maybe 30 seconds to tell them what I thought of their analysis uh, before we were destroyed during the re-entry. Obviously, it all worked out okay. We made it through the heating region, but when we landed at Edwards Air Force Base in California and got out of the orbiter, there was already a crowd of people over on the right side of the Space Shuttle Atlantis looking at our right wing, looking at all the shredded tiles that we had, but even more significant perhaps was the one entirely missing tile that we had, probably which burned up uh, during re-entry, and the melted metal that we had on the surface of the orbiter. Now, we were fortunate because there was a large steel plate in that area and the steel plate during the heating region lasted a lot longer than aluminum would have and it took it a while to melt through the steel plate and it was working on the aluminum when we successfully made it through the heating region. The, I don't know if it was frustrating or if it was amusing, comments was after the mission was, why didn't you guys tell us about this?